second try. Burton had to join me. Can you hear him purring with the new microphone? I hope so. Um, this morning I had to do some chores before I started painting this second chair and it was a lot of chopping and I don't know what you call the apple core thing but it's awesome and saves so much time especially when you have a lot of apples to do and we're making apple butter so need to peel and core those quickly. So I did that, chopped tomatoes, and strained some goat cheese that needs to then sit to drain. I think it's about 12 hours in the fridge. And then tomorrow I will salt it and let it sit for a little bit more in the fridge and then I'll package it to go into the freezer or off to friends. Um, Brian, what else was I going to say? Anyway, I got most of that done this morning, which is awesome. And now I can move on to painting. And while I love all those foods, my other favorite food is mushrooms. And they're even in my coffee this morning. Okay, there's one little tidbit that I wanted to read because <laughs> it won't come out right if I don't. Anyway, uh, I was kind of doing a little mushroom research and there's a lot of information out there, but the thing that I found the most interesting that felt very fitting for this chair um, is that Mushrooms are one of the most sustainably produced foods in the U.S. because they need very little space, energy, and water, and they honestly don't even need sunshine. Um, and then their growing medium can be composted or repurposed. So that's really cool. Um, I'm all about recycling and trying to waste less, buy less. Obviously, that's why our kitchen chairs come from wherever I find them. So, I am going to paint a mushroom chair to go sit next to my pumpkin chair. And I'm going to paint probably a lot of mushrooms that we see here on our property, though I think I threw in a morel, which I've never... Oh, wow, that would be cool if we had some of those, but uh, I've never found one. Here. Actually, I don't know if I've ever found one. Maybe, maybe once. Anyway, let's get painting.
going to do a little sponsored ad here in our post today and he had other ideas in mind a little nap a little bath he just can't be bothered he wanted to talk about the soap that we make but he too sleepy maybe next time good night bird here trying not to care that there's a mess in the background. <laughs> I was going to shoot this outside today but the weather had other ideas and it is crazy windy and gloomy so that's a bummer but I don't want to delay posting this so we're just going to chat about the chair in the house. My stand is a not cool. So um, here's my chair. <laughs> I'm sitting on my pumpkin chair from last week because I literally just finished this mushroom chair and it is still a little tacky. Um, I did finish the pumpkin chair with a clear gloss and so I still need to do that with this mushroom chair. So I won't sit on it yet, but otherwise the painting part is done and I'm super glad because this one took a lot longer than the pumpkin chair. Pumpkins are, I don't know, they're easier to paint and I got a little detailed with some of these mushrooms because, I don't know, they're cute. And there's all kinds of different types. I really stuck with um, one kind of pumpkin for my chair last week. So I don't know how many different mushroom types I tried to put on this new chair, but a lot of them come from photos I took on our property. So there's really probably not that many varieties. This way. without dumping the whole thing. Enjoy the ploppy noises. That's okay. Um, how many times did I say um? 